Hi guys, it has been a while since I have picked up my phone and filmed a video for you all. So we are doing that today. New video for my YouTube channel. The last time I filmed was back in September when me and Zazie were obviously at Sirencester for the Cotswold Cup Championships. And it is now the 12th of January. So it has been quite a few months, hasn't it, mister? But today I'm back with Hugo. Um, and I thought before we get into like the main jumping elements of this video i will just give you a brief pony update as it has been so long so what they've all been up to since i was last filming um i started a masters at bristol uni so i have been busy doing that which is why it's been a bit quieter on here because i've been trying to balance ponies and studying which i haven't been doing for a while now so i've got the knack of it but yeah i've been starting it's, been, it's a new uni so i've been starting there um so zazie had some quiet time a well-deserved holiday after siren Sester. And yeah, she's just had some chill time. Obviously, it's hard she's not here at home, but it does mean that she is still being ridden, hacked, having an odd lesson here and there uh, over at my aunt's yard. But I haven't been riding her as much as I'd like to. We did go hunting on Boxing Day. That was really fun. I might put in a couple of pictures over the top here. She absolutely loved it. She loves hunting. It gives her like a new lease of life for the next six months, basically. Um, and then this, this little man, who's now gonna head rub on me. Thanks, Hugo has been doing very well. Um, I'm not sure the last time he would have featured on this channel, his one day event. I'm not sure if he's featured since then, it might have been that. Um, so again, when I started my masters, boring, boring, he had a bit of quiet time. Um, took him out to a few little things, but nothing serious. Then he had a holiday just before Christmas. I would always planned to give him some form of winter break and it just coincided that before Christmas with assignments and everything was the best time for him to have some time off. And that went very well. He has come back into work now. He's been back in full work, I'd say for about four weeks, maybe three or four weeks. And I can definitely tell the difference. He is so much stronger physically uh, from having a break from it all. And then his confidence, he is much more confident than he was before his break. We've taken him out to two arena hires. Yeah, two arena hires, uh, back to Cherwell. Um, and yeah, he was fab. So that brings us on to what we're doing today. We are heading off to Sharon's for a show jumping lesson. So I haven't seen Sharon in ages. She used to be my pony club instructor and she's very, very good. And we had one, I've had one lesson with her when I had Barry, but I haven't seen her since then. So that was almost two years ago, probably. It was in 2021. Now we're in 2023. But yeah, today she's gonna meet Hugo for the first time. And my plan is just, it's gonna be a good opportunity for Hugo to get out to a new arena which is what he needs practice with, seeing all do new different jumps and everything to keep gaining his confidence. And also in prep for this weekend, I'm taking him to Cherwell for their clear round show jumping. So yeah, that will be, I might tie that into this video as well and make a combined video of those two days. I'm not sure yet, but this morning we're heading off to Sharon's for a show jumping lesson, aren't we? We'll see what you're like. And I thought I'll bring you guys along with me. I'm not sure how interesting it'll be, but I haven't filmed in so long. So I thought whilst I'm out and about doing stuff, I may as well pick up the camera, pick up the phone and do some videoing. So I think we need to get him looking slightly more ready. Hopefully when, when he's all ready, you'll notice a bit of a difference in him. He looks a little bit different, much more grown up, I'd say. But yeah, I need to crack on a bit and get you ready. You looking a bit smarter? So obviously he's got a rug on, maybe I'll just whip it back, but I think, well, I can't remember the last time you guys saw him on this channel, obviously if you follow me on Instagram, I post more frequently on there so you would have seen him recently, but he has got a nice big boy clip, and I think he looks much more grown up, you're starting to grow into this long head of yours, aren't you? Starting to grow into this long head of yours. But yes, he will be six later this year, he's a little big boy. Right, we have made it, it's rather disgusting. So I'm gonna try and tack him up as much as possible in here, but I've got a waterproof rug I can put on him if he needs. Yeah, I was hoping it would get better, but it is getting worse. 
but I am in my new favourite thing, my Christmas present, Equi Dry. I'm not going to do my lesson in it, I think Mum is doing it. I'm going to gift it to Mum today so she can watch in this, but this is a game changer. I mean, I'm sure there are obviously alternatives, but this is amazing. Anyway, can't really move on about that. Let's get you tapped up. Okay, so here we are in our lesson. We've already warmed up by this point and have just started jumping. We are using these tram lines before or after the jump, depending on which way we're jumping it, to just keep us straight. Um, I'll leave the audio in so you can kind of hear what Sharon is saying to me and Hugo throughout the lesson, but I might pop in and out and have some spooky fillers underneath that uh, throughout just to reiterate what we are working on. So you can see he's still being rather green there with the fillers under the jump so we're just supporting him on the last couple of strides so he can really feel me there and then he really take me down that line so that was really good now we are doing it and Sharon has added the little zebra plank him under the second part and you'll see I'm not quite quick enough he goes oh there's a new thing there but bless him he was very good I turned him around he said no no it's all right you can go and then he just popped over it so now you will see us going down that line again and even though you'll see he's still unsure of the plank, he still goes. So he's very genuine. He's just still a bit like, whoa, that's very scary. And then here we are starting to string a few of, of the jumps together. And you'll see he's already getting more confident. He's taking me to them, especially this oxer here, compared to how he jumped it in the last clip. He makes a much nicer shape over that and is starting to get the idea. Good. Active but uphill the whole time. he is getting much more confident and is taking strides out again here took stride out I was not expecting it but this is good his confidence was growing a lot throughout this session so we are just I think putting a few more fences together to introduce him to the course and this is the one he was spooking at the fillers at the beginning and now he's just obviously popping it like it's nothing So even after Sharon telling me to trust my canter, I did not, and we still messed up part A. But bless him, he was very good to get the good three strides in the middle, and then coming around to this orange jump here, the first time he's seen it, and it's got those fillers in again, but we got a good stride, and we did do a couple more jumps after this, but didn't get any filming of it. Hello. Right, we are back. You're a bit wet. It's your birthday today. Jigs. Very successful show jump lesson. We haven't done a load on the drive at the moment, so 
this is what I'm currently doing because it is two. Oh, it is too muddy. The track over the stables that we normally drive on is just so muddy. Um, but yeah, what a good lesson. I'm so pleased with him. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it was quite rainy at the very beginning of the lesson, so I don't think Mum filmed loads of warm up uh, because you wouldn't have been able to really see anything anyway. So, yeah, I'm sure I'll do some voiceovers or something on the videos to explain what we were working on to make it a bit more interesting. But you were very good, weren't you? Let me get you on leading rain. But yeah, he was really good and he definitely grew in confidence as the lesson went on. It was nice to get Sharon's advice and opinions. She loved you, didn't she? Who doesn't love you? Oh, she keeps coming back. Yeah, he's like, why are we unloading you? Right, let's see if they can hear me. Probably not in this bit. Um, actually, here we go. Maybe we, maybe we can't go that way. Let's go this way. Come on. Yeah. It was really good to have a lesson, very, very beneficial. Lots of things to take away from it and work on and take to Cherwell on uh, Sunday. I think I will tie it into this video, so it will be ugh, it will be after this. But I'm so pleased with him, like uh, considering how considering how green he was when I first got him and the progress he's made in a short space of time. It's been about nine months now that we have been together and working on stuff and bringing him on well not we i've been bringing him on um and yes he's turned into a very confident little pony just needs that bit of reassurance on the last couple of strides is what we were working on today but by the end he wasn't looking at anything and he was really taking the jumps and i did get left behind a couple of times because i was like are you sure we're going on this stride so the next step is to work on his adjustability and the canter but anyway uh that will come when he gets stronger it's so muddy isn't it i think he's a bit tired this is a very long session i've got a dress mode lesson tomorrow i'm afraid um but yeah so pleased with him it was whoa drop the leading ring really nice to be back out having a show jump well, back out i'm very bad about getting show jumping lessons it was good to get back out to have a show jump lesson and i definitely am going to keep it up with hugo and have some more because yeah very very helpful and it's good to get someone on the ground to uh, tell you what they're seeing and what needs working on so i think that is it for this show jumping lesson section of the video and i will catch up with you guys on Sunday, which is in only three days, it's Thursday today. Catch up with you on Sunday for another little outing. Stand, I was gonna get you to say bye. Stand. Yeah, for another outing. Busy boy. A busy boy this week, but yes. Super, super boy in your lesson. So we'll see you on Sunday. And just like that, it's Sunday morning. It's very cold. Um, we are just about ready to go. I haven't filmed any of getting ready because you've literally just seen it and it's exactly the same process. But how smart does he look in his Donington Grove Equine Vets Premier Equine Fleece? And I am in my coat, which has got it on the back. But I can't really see one there. About to lock me in the bum. But I am not a vet, so the reason I've got this is because I am a sponsored rider this year for Donington Grove, which is uh, amazing because I have been using their vets well ever since we had horses I've had Leo 10 years but the ponies before that we've been using so I've been using them for, since before I was born so to have their support this season with Hugo at my fingertips is amazing so yes he is this arrived yesterday so he is sporting his new fleece because it is very cold and I am very much enjoying this new jacket um, and yes as you can see he's eager to go so we're gonna Get on and load him and then I'll catch up with you when we get to the chair. Can you stop making this grubby? It was brand new. I like the um correct coin thing on the side. But anyway, those are our outfits on this morning. And um yes, I'm gonna go and load you now. You're already he is a bit grubby on his legs, but what can you do? It's January. Uh no thank you. Right, I better go. have arrived it is freezing so I'm just gonna walk the course because we're here so 
nice and time it's so small I can step over my jumps one is the yellow one over there two heading over to three so always around this and have a sausage sandwich and I will tack him up. Okay, so here we go into the ring. And already I will put some clips after this of the last time we tried to take him to clear round, which was a couple of months ago. Already this is a vast improvement. Um, he had a little spook there at those cross country jumps. So I just gave him a little tap and said, no, come on, get on. And wanted him to get wanted to get him up the other end of the arena, because the fence one is that yellow jump up in the corner. And then once we trotted past all those jumps in the corner, I popped him into canter and wanted to do kind of a big loop of canter before coming to fence one just to make sure he felt forwards off my leg and ready to jump. All I will say though is this round really highlighted my right turns. For some reason today I was really struggling to turn him right. This was the first one there and then you'll see a couple more times throughout the round where we can't really turn right but I'm gonna not commentate over it because my dad's commentary uh, is hilarious so I'm gonna leave that for you guys to enjoy. And just like that, we are unloading on the drive again. We had very low. This way, so we don't go in the pond again. So, we are back. Sorry, I didn't really do any vlogging today. It was more a, I'll just include my round into the video to bulk it out a bit. Um, but yes, very good, very good boy this morning. Nice quick outing. Um, I did, well, you will have seen, he did a, a super, super clear round in the 60 centimetres. We even got a little clear round rosette in my signature colour, purple, which is nice. I didn't pick this, this is what I was given, um, so I'm not that obsessed. Uh, yeah, so he was super confident, so much more uh, improved than the last time we went here. I think I might include a clip of what he was like a couple of months ago when we tried to take him to clear round at Sherwell and he just froze. He got stage fright, didn't want to go in uh, through the like archway into the main arena, didn't want to go forward at all. And I really struggled to get him going and in the end we didn't really jump or well, couldn't get him to jump. So much, much, much more successful outing today wasn't it? I think you're a bit tired. So I when, when I came out, I was umming and ahhing about potentially doing the 70 or just sticking with the 60 and just 
leaving on a high because you know I know he could do the 70 like the height he finds really easy it was more just the atmosphere today show experience um so in the end I thought well he's been really good let's just leave it at that and then I know next time you're more than capable of doing two classes no you're not allowed to rub on this coat more than capable of doing two classes aren't you so yeah we just did one class today a nice brief quick outing but a very successful one and he felt much more confident so that's very good isn't it he starts to know what it was all about and yeah he jumped so nicely like really forward the whole way around cantered the whole course and um met all the jumps on a very nice stride didn't you so now you get to go back out in the field should we show off this rug one more time because it's actually light now stand good boy very smart yeah you can go out got it a little bit mucky but not too bad so yeah that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching seeing what hugo is up to at the moment i'm hoping to get a uh, potentially one more video out whilst i'm still around well that sounds a bit morbid whilst i'm still at home uh i want to try and take him cross-country schooling um before i go back to uni so we will see uh to attington because they've got it on a surface because obviously it's january so we'll see if i can get that filmed or there is show jumping next weekend but i'm not sure we'll see what we get up to but i hope you enjoyed this little hugo update and you can see he's coming along very nicely just taking it steady because there is no rush and yeah hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you in the next one whatever that might be he's found the most minute minute pieces of grass are you tidying the yard for me thank you good boy so yeah i'll see you in the next video i need to get this pony turned out because he is starving